After a long winter, springtime had finally sprung in the meadow. When the warm morning sun shone down on little nut brown hair, he woke up, stretched lazily, and lay listening to the birds. But soon he noticed something unusual. <sighs> what is it? Something is different, Big Nut Brown Hare. What something? There's a smell that wasn't there in winter. Everything seems the same, but I can smell a new, very special smell. <laughs> what does it smell like? It's sweet and pretty and and fresh. Yes. Oh, it sounds quite wonderful. It is. Can you smell it? I can smell lots of wonderful smells like juicy grass roots and um, fresh spring leaves. Oh. I know. I'll go and find what's making the special smell and I'll bring it back for you to smell too. OK. <laughs> I'd like that. <laughs> ah. If I stretch up really high, I might be able to smell it. No, maybe it's down really low. That's kind of like it. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Hello, little field mouse. Oh, hello, little nut brown hair. I'm dancing my spring dance. <laughs> what were you doing down there? I'm searching for something special. Want to help? Yes, please. What are we looking for? Well, we're not exactly looking for it. Oh? We're smelling for it. What does it smell like? It smells fresh, sweet and pretty. Oh, I know that smell! Yay! Hey, wait for me! <laughs> smell this blue flower, little nut brown hair! <laughs> oh! See? Sweet and pretty. Am I right? You are right. It is sweet and pretty, but... <laughs> but... It's not exactly the smell we are searching for. I'll take this one back so Big Nut Brown Hair can smell how lovely it is. OK, so what can we smell next? Oh, little white flowers! <laughs> oh, do come and smell them! Hmm, sweet and orangey and a little bit like the smell we're searching for. But... But not the exact one. Right. <sighs> For big nut brown hair. Aha! Aha! What? <laughs> Over here! <laughs> Lovely. Lovely! A bit like... Honey! And a bit like the special smell, but, but not, not exactly, exactly like, like it. it. Oh. Boo! Whoa! Oh, you startled me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we've brought some flowers for you to smell. Here. A hyacinth. Mmm, sweet and pretty. How about this one? Oh, an orange blossom. Mmm, orangey. Oh, bluebells. Mmm, sweet like honey. Wonderful smells. <sighs> but none of them are the special smell I smelt this morning. We haven't found it anywhere. Hmm, 
Have you tried the woods? The woods! Great idea! <laughs> Special smell? Almost, but not exactly. That smell must be around here somewhere. Look! <gasps> Ew! Let me smell it. No, little nut brown hair, it's yucky! <sighs> I like it. You do? It smells nutty to me. <laughs> Yummy. Well, that's odd. I guess we don't all like the same things. Because we're different. We are. But we like some things the same. Do you think I'm going to like the special smell? Oh, yes. I can't stop smelling everything. Me either. It's all so new and different from winter. Mmm, like this damp moss on the rocks. Mmm, and the soft green grass that grows by the water, all sweet and fresh. It's nearly time to go home. Do you know something? What? The air smells different beside the creek. Yes, it does. It's a little bit like the fresh smell of this morning, but not exactly it. Oh, well, I suppose I should go. I've had heaps of fun today, Little Nut Brown Hair. Even though we didn't find a special smell? Even though we didn't. Goodbye, Little Field Mouse. Goodbye. <laughs> Springtime brought lots of new things for Little Field Mouse and Little Nut Brown Hare to enjoy. <laughs> Warm, sunny days, a fast-flowing stream, and a new game. <laughs> Got it! Even Little Nut Brown Hare's father was having fun. Here comes another leaf. It's coming straight to me! <gasps> Get it! Never mind, little field mouse. I'll send you an extra special one. Hmm, something pretty. Something pretty. Ooh, what about that blossom? Do you think little field mouse would like that? Perfect! What's perfect? What? Just wait there, you'll see. <laughs> oh, thank you, Little Nut Brown Hair. It's so pretty. <laughs> it's a blossom. I'm going to keep it forever and ever. <laughs> oh, look, here come some more blossoms. <gasps> Where are they coming from? They must be falling off a blossom tree into the stream. And the stream is floating them down here. Wow, a whole tree covered in those blossoms. It must be a very pretty tree. I can remember seeing a beautiful blossom tree when I was a little nut brown hair, just like you. <gasps> it had more blossoms than you could ever imagine. The tree's probably still there at the top of a mountain. <gasps> can you take us? Can you show us the blossom tree? Um, well, it's a very long way. Please? <laughs> well, all right. Hooray! I'm going to make a necklace of blossoms and show everyone. Stop <laughs> when you get to the big boulder. You can't miss it. It's huge. Do you think this could be the boulder? It must be. It's pretty big. Hmm. Oh, this can't be the right boulder. It's not as big as I remember. It looks big to me. Huge. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, I see. It must be because last time I was here, I was smaller. So the boulder only seemed bigger. So why have we stopped at the boulder anyway? We have to turn here to get to the blossom tree. <gasps> We're nearly there! Oh, no. Where the path becomes too uphill is true. How does that tell us where to go? It's a riddle. You'll have to work it out. Oh, I'll work it out for you. <laughs> Not if I work it out first. <laughs> <laughs> The first part of the riddle, anyway. See? Where the path becomes two, uphill is true. That path is downhill, so we should go uphill. That's right. Uphill is the true way to the blossom tree. Thanks. What's the next riddle? All must obey the rock that knows the way. <laughs> Rocks don't know anything. Well, it must show the way, somehow. That's a clue! Let's go, little mud brown hair! <laughs> there are lots of stones and rocks, but none of them are telling me anything. Except that my legs and my feet are tired. <sighs> Not all the rocks are under your feet. But rocks aren't up in the sky. Huh? <gasps> Look, a pointy rock. <laughs> I mean a rock that's pointing. <laughs> oh, yes! Is it pointing the way to the blossom tree? All must obey the rock that knows the way. See? The rock does know something. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then. There's only one clue left to help us find the blossom tree. Only one? Uh-huh. Across a tree that's very old, then through bushes made of gold, up a mountain you will see a very pretty blossom tree. Across a tree that's very old, then through bushes made of gold, up a mountain you will see a very pretty blossom tree! Hooray! Oh, look! Across a tree that's very old. That tree looks old. Come on, we have to go across. <laughs> <laughs> Bushes are gold, so we go through them. <laughs> <laughs> are we close? Uh, we could be. Up a mountain, you will see a very pretty blossom tree. It's even bigger and more beautiful than I remembered. <laughs> Although it's more of a hill than a mountain. It's raining blossoms! <gasps> oh. What pretty rain! Oh. Well, at least not everything has changed. <laughs> These blossoms still smell as sweet as ever. It was another beautiful spring morning in the valley, and creatures great and small were out enjoying the day, including little Nut Brown Hare and his father, who were having breakfast. Mmm, don't you think the grass tastes extra sweet this morning, little Nut Brown Hare? Mmm, delicious! Finished! Can I go and play with Little Field Mouse now, please? Ah, uh, there. That's mm -hmm. better. <laughs> yes, off you go. <laughs> Goodbye, Big Nut Brown Hair. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Little Field Mouse, where are you? <laughs> Ta da! There you are. I like 
that pretty flower. Thank you, little nut brown hair. It's a lovely colour, isn't it? And it smells so sweet. <laughs> oh, <gasps> butterflies like it too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, isn't that pretty? Thank you, little redwood fox. See you later. That butterfly really likes you. Hello, little grey squirrel. I think it just likes the flower. <laughs> It looks so sweet. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. That was very kind of them to say such nice things about me. Well, having a flower and a butterfly does make you very special. Really? <gasps> Let's make you special too. Me? How? By getting a flower and a butterfly for you too. Oh, yes. There are some beautiful flowers here. <coughs> Try this one. Ah, here butterflies, come to the flower. Shh, little nut brown hair, you'll scare them away. Oops, sorry. You have to be still. Uh. Am I still enough? Perfectly. Then why aren't any butterflies coming to the flower? Maybe there aren't any butterflies around here. Maybe they just don't like this kind of flower. <sighs> or maybe I'm just not special. I'm sure you are. Hmm? Oh, a ladybug! Hmm. <laughs> it tickles. <laughs> I didn't do anything. It just landed on me. Just like the butterfly landed on me. Now, it doesn't want to leave me alone. <laughs> See, you are special after all, little nut brown hair. I guess I am. <laughs> Ladybug, yes. Wow, where did you get it? It just flew onto me over there and now it seems to want to stay. How pretty. Look how small it is and its beautiful spots. And you are so lucky, little nut brown hair, for it to stay with you. Yes, I am. Goodbye. See you later. Do you feel special now, Little Nut Brown Hair? Very special. After all, the ladybug chose me. And then it landed on me and it stayed with me all day. I think it's because I'm very gentle with it. <laughs> I can see that you are. And I think it likes my soft, warm fur and being hopped around the meadow. I'm very lucky to have this little ladybug. <laughs> I think it is lucky to have you too. You can stay on this leaf tonight and there's a drop of rainwater if you get thirsty. Good night, little ladybug. See you in the morning. Ladybug is still there. Good morning, little ladybug. My friends are going to be so amazed that you stayed with me all night. And I was up there all the time. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, little nut brown hair. Hello. Look. <laughs> You've been sleeping on your ear again. <sighs> <laughs> no, my other ear. The ladybug is still there. Oh, yes it is. Did it stay on your ear all night? 
No, he slept on a leaf next to me. Hello, everyone. What will we do today? Let's roll through the long grass. Collect shiny pebbles. What about chasing Thistledown? <laughs> what do you think we should do, Little Nut Brown Hair? Do about what? What do you think we should do today? We could play with the ladybug. Oh, but it might get very thirsty. Last night it drank a whole drop of rainwater. Rainwater? That's it! We could go and see if there are any new muddy puddles to splash in. Good yes. idea! What do you think, Little Nut Brown Hair? Would you like to do that? Yes, but I'm not sure the ladybug would like it. I might just keep an eye on it and see you all later. Don't be long, Little Nut Brown Hair. All right. Let's go and look for puddles. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> What's up, little nut brown hair? You're not playing with your friends? No, I thought it might be a bit too rough for the ladybug. But that's all right, because we'll have fun playing together all day. Won't we, little ladybug? Oh, no. Come back, little ladybug. Come back. Please wait, ladybug. Oh. oh, you were going home to your family. If my friends were amazed when I had one ladybug, what will they say if I have a whole family? Come on. Your ladybug has a family? Yes, and I want to show my friends that I've got lots of ladybugs. Come on, little ladybugs. But what if they don't want to go? Why wouldn't they? Because this is their home. Oh, I don't want to take you away from your home. It wouldn't be right. Yesterday, the ladybug chose me to land on. But it wouldn't be the same if I picked them all up today. But my friends would really like to see you. Who says they can't? <gasps> and I followed her here and found her whole family. Oh, how sweet. Look how small they are. And I've got little tiny spots too. You're a very good friend for thinking of us, Little Nut Brown Hair. You're a special friend. Do you think so? You've always been special, even without a ladybug. 